Band made. It has been way too long. It's my fault. I apologize. This song is shambles. I'm excited. Let's go. Look how good the camera looks. That's cool. Mm. There it is. Okay. Oh my god, this introduction in the first verse is so good. I'm gonna go back. I made the comment about the camera. Those of us that grew up watching MTV, the old school stuff, I, for me, I'm never gonna get used to how great music videos look. Look at this like focus pull. Like we totally have the the picking hand in focus, and then it shifts to down the neck, and it just looks like look how great that looks. Also, it kind of matches what's going on because we have that like fidelity, like fade in shift with the guitar here into that digital percussion thing. I don't know. It's just really great design, in my opinion. This is cool. I like the groove, but Akane, obviously, much better. And then the. Oh, man. I just love it. I love all this. That's a, it's great phrasing long short short one two one two one two the descending sequence there it just takes something that makes it super accessible and everyone can grab onto that and it sounds great i like how chunky it is in the beginning we're getting some super pick stuff going on in the bass misa sounds great everything the the mix for the band i'm not surprised though um only like two videos felt weird like i i think i've only done maybe like eight or nine of their songs i can't remember but um this is bringing like all the emotions back hearing this and hearing how they play again and um, this is one, of, I think out of all the bands that I've done reactions on, I've gone to see like maybe four in live. And this was probably my favorite show. It was so freaking great live. Anyway, let's keep going. I dig the, this rogue, what's well, not rogue though, the, the, the strategical placement of that loud ass uh, uh, ride bell. It sounds so good. It cuts. The cuts of the whole mix. Yeah, the other thing with how kind of like chunky this is with rhythm and uh, bass is kind of like the the progression's not moving a lot. It's just more rhythmic. Um, It allows for the toms. Akane is playing. It's so busy on the part. But it's not really competing though because the vocals have that like bullhorn. I don't really know the names of all these effects. It's got like bullhorn effect on there. So I'm listening way more to the mid rather than having like vocals be like soaring up top. And having to like constantly be jumping through what's what part of the mix I want to listen to. I like this quite a bit. Let's appreciate it one more time. Sorry, one more thing. I did not notice it in the first two listens. It feels like I'm not sure. I think so. Misa's playing with pick, but also just kind of articulating like with some pops too. So you're getting a mix of both those styles. It sounds really nice to listen to. Yeah, totally. That's cool. I have zero skill set of playing with the pick and popping at the same time. That's that's pretty enjoyable. Oh. oh my god, it's so good. I love the background vocals. They've got the effects. We're getting a little bit of shredding going on. But it's just, we're only 54 seconds into a three minute, 30 second song. I know I keep stopping. I'm sorry, but you just have to give praise where it's due because the song is so explosive. Part of this, I am kind of geeking out because it's been so long and it's, I know I said like, it's all rushing back, but at the same time, I just want to go back and keep hearing things because of how great this sound. <laughs>
Did you hear the, oh, I got ma massive chills right there. That was amazing. Okay. So let's go back to like 55 right here. When the chorus drops all the, obviously the competing, not competing, but the, uh, the, the bullhorn sound of the vocals is gone. And we are no, I was going to say, we're no longer competing with that sound, but it's, that's not really the right choice of words. We, now we have what we talked about before where the vocals are a clean tone and they're on top and the range of what you're listening to in the mix is so much bigger. And we do have a chord progression. It's completely tonal. We kind of, we're not abandoning, but we just step into the realm of like, things are a little less um, chunky with like dissonance kind of going against There's so much like fuzz and sound between bass and rhythm guitar. So now we, it's way more uh, lyrical in the progression. <laughs> little things bum, ba, da, 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 bum, 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 that little descending bass sorry i can't sing it for shit but you know what i mean though like misa sounds so good right there it's just little subtleties on the differences that make a huge impact here it comes Jesus, dude, that is amazing. I love the way Akane plays. Okay, so uh, I made the comments earlier in the verse about like the voice and the heavy tom work, and it's like easier to listen to. There, there was no backing off the energy in the drums. The drums were just, they were rocking as hard as they were in the verse and the chorus. So it's just, that's just how well Akane plays and is able to fit into everything within the song. And uh, I would say everybody's pretty busy, to be honest, but it doesn't matter, though. Like, most of the time, I always, you know, have something to say, especially when I'm teaching. I'm like, dude, you guys are doing too much here. You're doing too much here. You're distracting. But that that's not the band made. That's not the case because it's just, for whatever reason, it just completely works. All right. I want that fill again. That's 116. Let's go back to, like, 107 and check out the drum fill. It's coming in here. Okay, Psyche sounds amazing on the vocals. She is a rock star. But the reason I love this band is because what you just saw happen there in this bridge of Akane versus Misa, not versus, sorry, Akane and Misa, how they're playing, the variety that we got surrounding the way the chord, like the the, the construction of the song, so much great musicianship just happened. We're going to listen to that again. Hey, Man, we, oh God, it's so good. We get a little bit of stop, not really stop time. There's a little break in the drum. It allows Misa to play down. We get super hard pick articulations. It's, it's like just dry as a bone. And then we get this uh, like call and response between vocals, bass, and kick drum. It is so freaking musical, man. <laughs> That is groove central. Actually, it's not really a call and response between voice. Voice is laying down that groove. And what's going on between bass and drums is just creating some real simple, but just hip syncopation. That just makes that juicy as all hell, man. That is, that is the way to do it. So just like listening to that chorus again, I'm just wondering like how many young people are looking up to this band and like completely stylizing themselves. Like how many, like this has got to be idol, like a music idols to so many young people right now. If I was like in high school and you know, like everything's accessible. You remember like people that are old, like me, you know, you remember the old days when it was like someone had like a mixtape and like, Oh, it's got this, like this guitarist from Germany. Like, Oh, there's this, this drummer from Switzerland. You'd be like, Whoa, 
like, ooh, like this like far off worldly player. And, you know, you'd like hear a couple of things to try to learn what they're doing. Like you, maybe you go to, you know, walk down to the guitar shop and buy like an instructional videotape that was like half cheesy, but half great. Or someone had some VHS tape of some amazing player, like from like a clinic or something. No one just, you just didn't have, you know, you weren't sitting at your TV on MTV and having access to stuff like this. It just didn't work that way. I mean, I can't imagine the point. The reason I brought it up is I can't imagine how many young people are looking at this going like, dude, like just learning every lick and basing uh, their musicianship, their, their skill set off this. That's what I would hope someone would have me do if I was that age. But man, I just, I don't know. I can't say enough good things. There was like no resolve to that chord progression there. We got a little bit of variety and we still had some of the other stuff, but the guitar, so yeah, most replayed. I'm not surprised whatsoever. 235. Let's go back to like right here. Let's, because the bass introduction, uh, no, that's not far enough. Well, come on, where's our barefoot assassin doing stuff here? Is this far enough? I don't think so. Let's go like right here. That just sets the tone completely because it's not really, it's like a breakdown. We just have such a different interpretation on the groove of Makane there to have such a, like, I don't know, tasty type of just pull you out because the volume, everything has been really like at a 10 pretty much the whole time. Like the energy level is up there. So when you're going to dip out the bottom like this, you allow your listener to kind of like breathe for a moment, let your ears have a break. But then the obvious thing to do is hit them with a guitar solo. Which they do, you know, like it works out really, really well. I like the note choices here, too. <laughs> yeah, the, man, they lay that up, they double it up with guitar and drums on the end there. I was about to stop and be like, oh, now look, we have another variation of what we just talked about. We got some clean tone guitar. We pull it away and like, it, there's going to be a moment of like, just chill. Not really though, because the Kane just kind of went hard as a motherfucker. On that oh my God. It's so good. She's gotten good at that, Phil. I don't know. It's been a bit. I'm, I'm not knowledgeable enough to know if she plays that all the time or not, but it is clean. It is very clean. Oh, my God. That is the real deal. Dream scenario. You win the lottery. Who are you flying out? You're flying out that band. Private concert. Get all your friends together. Unreal. That is like, it's the best stuff. So I'm so sorry it took so long to get back to them, but we're here. Let me know what you think about the song down in the comments below. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. We're almost at 200,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Help me out, please, and thank you. Like the video if you like it. Dislike the video if you did not like it. YouTube thinks you should watch this one next. Have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.